turn your mobile workstation into a powerful battle station. The Aorus GTX 1070 Gaming Box is a complete yet compact solution that comes with a GTX 1070 graphics card and 450 watt PSU built inside. Hook it up to your laptop and you have a battle ready machine right away. Here is how it works. First plug in the power cord. Next, connect the gaming box to your laptop with the Thunderbolt USB Type-C cable included in the package. The Thunderbolt 3 technology enables blazing fast 40 gigabits per second of data transfer while providing up to 100 watt power to the connected laptop at the same time. When you see the gaming box lights up and hear the notification sound, it means laptop has successfully recognized the gaming box. Then follow the instructions on the screen to proceed. Finally, download the NVIDIA driver and the installation is done. A quick reminder, do not unplug and replug the cable immediately as it may cause system failure. Wait for the disconnection sound and then plug the cable back in again. Now you're ready to play on your Ultrabook laptop. Just to up your game even more, you can connect an external monitor of your choice for an enhanced gaming experience. At the back, there are three USB 3.0 ports where you can hook up your gaming peripherals and external storage to set up a complete battle station. There is also an extra quick charge 3.0 port to charge your mobile devices when the battery is running low. There you have it, the innovative external graphics solution from Aorus. Work hard, but don't forget to play even harder. Enjoy the best of both worlds with the Aorus GTX 1070 Gaming Box. Aorus.
This video is a step-by-step -step process on how to set up the Razer Corex Chroma. The Razer Corex Chroma is an external enclosure for your graphics card, otherwise known as an eGPU, that boosts your gaming experience by enhancing your laptop's graphics processing performance. Properly setting up the Razer Corex Chroma is important to avoid any issues or any damages to components. Before proceeding, you will need the following. Razer Corex Chroma. Razer Corex Chroma compatible PCIe graphics card. Graphics driver, NVIDIA or AMD. PC with Thunderbolt 3 external graphics support and external monitor. You can download NVIDIA or AMD graphics drivers via the links in the description. You can also check out the link on the Razer Core X Chroma compatibility information. Bear in mind that when installing or replacing a graphics card, ensure that the Razer Core X Chroma is switched off and unplugged from a power outlet to avoid electrical shocks. Let's get started. Gently pull the lever to unlock then pull out the compartment from the enclosure. Peel off the tape and remove the protective foam. Remove the PCIe slot thumbscrew and cover. Insert a compatible graphics card into the PCIe slot and secure it with the thumbscrew. Plug the 6 plus 2 power connectors into the graphics card. Ensure that the power cables are kept away from the fans. Cable straps inside the enclosure can be used to manage the power cables as needed. Push the compartment into the enclosure until completely shut. Push the lever to lock the compartment. Connect the Razer Corex Chroma to a power outlet using the power cord. Use the appropriate power cord for your region. Connect the Razer Corex Chroma to the Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port of a Thunderbolt 3 external graphics card enabled system. This connection will also provide power and charge your USB-C powered laptop. Be sure to only use a compatible active 40 gigabits per second Thunderbolt 3 USB-C cable. Connect the Razer Corex Chroma to the external monitor using the display port of the installed graphics card. Before powering on the Razer Corex Chroma, ensure that your system is updated. For Windows systems, confirm that your system has the latest Windows updates installed. Razer Corex Chroma requires Windows 10, RS5, or higher. For Mac OS, the Razer Core X Chroma requires macOS High Sierra 10.13.4 or higher with Thunderbolt 3. Toggle the power switch on. The lighting will only display when the device is connected to the Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port of your PC while a compatible graphics card must be installed for the internal lighting to be visible. Your Razer Core X Chroma can already be used by supported applications upon connecting it to the Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port of your PC. Install the drivers for the graphics card installed in the Razer Core X Chroma. Windows Update may automatically install the driver for the graphics card. However, we recommend that you download the latest graphics driver version directly from NVIDIA or AMD. Ensure to select the correct driver option for your system as some systems may require either the standard or DCH driver version. Do note that the external graphics card must be detected by the system before installing the driver. Congratulations, you are now ready to game with your Razer Corex Chroma.